Social entrepreneurship really became a mainstream term in the 1980s when Bill Drayton uh, popularized it with Ashoka and his idea of funding fellows who were what he called social entrepreneurs who were using nonprofits to create scalable solutions uh, to massive problems. And, and that, that was how social entrepreneurship really got started, was this idea of using nonprofits to create scalable impact. Um, but it's evolved, I think, dramatically uh, from, from the 80s. Uh, in, in more recent times, it's become more about the idea of market-based solutions and looking at how we could create uh, sort of revenue-generating solutions to poverty, so improving livelihoods while making money. And a lot of people have talked about merging meaning and money. And that, in the nonprofit context, was fine because nonprofits could create revenue, but what we also found, I think, over time was that people got interested in for-profit social entrepreneurship, this idea that you could really leverage the market and create businesses that are social enterprises. And so after the nonprofit uh, scalable impact notion uh, was popularized and also took into account questions of policy advocacy and making a difference around the world in that way, uh, things started to move towards more for-profit models or even hybrid models. People started wondering if nonprofits were the right structure. And so social entrepreneurship is sort of an evolving field. And today, you find that people are actually looking at uh, for-profits as de delivering social innovations and social enterprise uh, activity. And the future may very well be in the for-profit space. We don't really know yet, but what we do know is that there's a lot of momentum around uh, different kinds of corporate structures. There's the B Corporation, which is a benefit corporation that prioritizes all stakeholders and wants to advance uh, a lot of the ideals of social entrepreneurship, but for businesses that could be publicly traded companies. Um, and then also the idea of low-profit corporations like the L3C um, and, and others that are emerging that kind of challenge the notion that a nonprofit is the way to do social entrepreneurship. So you really see social entrepreneurs running nonprofits, hybrids, and for-profit organizations.